My name is uh, David Thomas Smith. I retired out as a Navy career counselor, Master Chief, submarine qualified. Completed sub school, then I went down to the USS Bang. Now, I have to admit that during that time, uh, racial tension was very high in the Navy, shall we say. And uh, normally there was, it took four black guys to be in port at one time to get together to play the black card game of bid whist because they were only assigning one per submarine at that time. And also during that time, the only thing that you could be was either be a cook or steward. That's all blacks could be in the military. And uh, later on, it, op it started opening up and part of the opening up was because of Admiral Zumwalt um, when he, he did some things, as you well know, and then of course what he did do, one of the things he did was he opened up minority recruiting for blacks and he opened up ranked job fields for blacks. As a matter of fact, I was on the board that wrote what they call Z66. He used Z-grams like the president uses executive orders. And uh, that opened it up for all minorities in the military after that, the gates opened. But up to that point, all you could do was be a cook or a steward. So that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And of course, when you're the only black on board with 105 to 110 guys you're out in the middle of the ocean, what are you going to do? You know, so those times were kind of like some bitter times, my initial times, because of what was going on. Racism, discrimination was alive and well in the Navy at that point in time. As I moved up the chain, it got a little bit better, but still, it was still there. Uh, I went aboard one ship I just made first class, which was E6. And I had kind of like what we call a career second that worked for me. And uh, he was running this illegal store out of our working space, and you weren't supposed to do it. So I confronted him on it, and he looked me in the eye, and he told me, he says, look, Smith, I want to tell you one thing. I never worked for a nigger before, and I'm not going to work for one now. I said, what did you say? He repeated it. I went and got my boss, brought him down there. I said, well, you say what you said to him? He said it again. And so then we went to the XO. He said it to the XO. So he winds up getting a mask out of it, but then it was kind of like a slap on the wrist because we got on the way at sea, and he was confined to the ship for 30 days, reduced in pay for 30 days, and we came back in, it was like nothing ever happened. So that was kind of stuff that you had to put up during that day. But other than that, um, I served on diesel boats, and then I moved up to the Polaris missile boats, and uh, again, you know, things were kind of tough because normally I was, there was only a few blacks on board submarines. Matter of fact, I wrote a paper that was called a fly in the buttermilk because that's what it kind of likes I always end up being. I end up being the only black that's generally in a group of whites when it comes to various activities. I mean, even here today, I'm the only one here, you know, out of 70 people. And so, you know, I've, I've learned to adapt, but of course, like I said, over the years, uh, conditions got better. Uh, I made rank as I, as I progressed up the advancement ladder, things got a little better.